arrays are nothing but a collection of items which are referred by some common name. Even in real world, sometimes we refer similar item with a common name. For example, let's say you have ordered a pizza which has multiple slices. You might refer to its individual slice as first slice, second slice, third slice, fourth slice, fifth slice, sixth slice, seventh slice, and the eighth slice. Similarly, in C or any other programming language, we have something called arrays, which are collection of items referred by a common name. The way we can declare an array in C is as follows. Let's try running this code in the compiler and see what happens. Over here, we are creating an array called A, which has maximum four elements and then we are initializing the array with four values that are 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, if we want to fetch individual element of the array, we can do it by variable name followed by the index within a square bracket. Keep in mind the index in C starts with 0. So the first element is a of 0. Let's run this code. As you can see, 1, 2, 3 and 4 are displayed. There might be a situation where you want to find the size of an array. We can use size of operator for this. Over here, size of a will give us total size occupied by the array in bytes. If we divide this size by the size of first element of this array, we will get the length of the array. As you can see, length of the array in this case is 4. Let's add another element to the array. The length of array becomes 5. One advantage of having arrays is that now we can loop all the elements of this array using a for loop. Over here we have initialized i as 0 and then we are running this loop till i is less than the length of the array. Inside the loop we are displaying a of i. So in first iteration 0th element of array a would be displayed. Then a of 1 will be displayed and after that A of 2 will be displayed and so on. So let's try running this code. As you can see A of 0 is 1, A of 1 is 2, A of 2 is 3, A of 3 is 4 and A of 4 is 5. 